don't bear fresh rest. I think it's um, good if you got shoulder problems on, because some people can't get the both of their shoulders up with the bar and stuff, especially for your AC joints, um, especially the ones that are weaker, because you ain't have to deal with the big bar and stuff like that. So it's real good for you. you know, when you lower down to your squat, you always want to push through and you know, get everything you can out of it as far as like bursting through. When you squat down, make sure you, that you, you know, get your hips through. Make sure you get your neck through, your head through and stuff, and make sure that you're doing everything you can to, you know, really include your hips into it, like as far as driving your hips through and, you know, using every bit of your shoulders that you can. Because you, when you drive through, you're going to use your legs up to your shoulders. You're going to push it through. That's when you're going to lock out. So uh, when you use this drill here or this exercise, make sure that you get your hips through and make sure that you're doing everything you can to be more explosive. It's going to, you know, everything from the weight room here is going to, help you out in a long ways when you're trying to run somebody over or you're trying to stretch to get that extra down or you in the fourth quarter and you ain't think you got nothing else left on fourth and inches, third and one, third and two, and they putting you in to run the ball or whatever. They You got to go jump and go get the ball, go dive for the goal line. That's all your explosiveness is coming from. But uh, if you do everything right, it'd be, you know, pretty much uh, going to work your whole body out.